Now in this example I've chosen a fraction where the degree of the numerator is 3 and the degree of the denominator when you expand this would be 2. So it's a top heavy fraction and to handle this what we have to do is, as I showed in an earlier tutorial is to divide the denominator which when expanded is x squared minus x into the numerator and if I divide that in, let's just copy that down first of all, x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1. Dividing this in, I multiply the x squared by an x to get x cubed here, so we'll put an x up there. So multiplying x with x squared minus x in the usual way gives x cubed minus x squared. Subtract for the remainder and what we have now is x squared minus minus x squared is 2x squared. Bring down the x so we have plus x. Multiply x squared minus x now by a 2 to give the 2x squared so that's plus 2 goes up the top there and so we get 2x squared and 2 times minus x is minus 2x. Subtract for the remainder so x minus minus 2x is 3x and then bring down the minus 1 and this is the remainder. So in the usual way what we have is that this fraction can be expressed as the quotient here x plus 2 plus the remainder which is 3x minus 1 over the divisor and the divisor is x squared minus x which when factorized was x bracket x minus 1. So all I need to do now is split this into partial fractions in the usual way. So we take the 3x minus 1 over x bracket x minus 1 and because the denominator here has two linear factors then this would be identical to partial fractions of the type uh, constant which I'll call a over the first linear factor x plus another constant which I'll call b over the linear factor x minus 1. And then if we multiply both sides of this identity by x bracket x minus 1 then what we'll have is 3x minus 1 on the left is equal to a times x minus 1 plus b times x. And by choosing appropriate values of x we can make each of these terms go to 0. So if I choose x equals 1 that will make this bracket 0 and then the whole term will be 0. So we'll say let x equal 1. So that what, what that will give us will be 3 times 1 here, which is 3, take away 1 is 2, so it would have 2 equals, this term disappears, and so we're left with 1 times b is just simply b. So therefore b is clearly 2. And if I choose x to be 0 now, that will make this term go out completely so we'll let x equal 0 and that would mean on the left here we have 3 times 0 is 0 take away 1 so that's minus 1 equals and 0 take away 1 is minus 1 times a so that's minus a so that would mean that a is clearly 1 so when I substitute a and b back into here it will give me this fraction in partial fractions which I can then substitute back up into here and complete the partial fractions for this fraction. So therefore what we've got is our fraction up here x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1 all divided by x bracket x minus 1 can be written then impartial fractions as x plus 2 and then plus a over x, so that's 1 over x and then plus b which is 2 over x minus 1 plus 2 
over x minus 1. And so we have our fraction expressed in partial fractions.